What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. The series in REI Reply is dedicated to showing you the key features that you need to implement in your business, making it super simple to start taking action today. Let's hop in. All right, so this video, we're going to be looking at automations within REI Reply. So you can see the team over at REI Reply has actually already built out quite a few campaigns for you that you can literally just plug and play, right? So if you're marketing to, to foreclosures or if you're marketing to, you see like we have like an Orlando templated campaign, let's click in it and see what it does, right? So within this foreclosure campaign where foreclosure is mentioned, you'll see, hi, John, it's Matt. Have you entertained the idea of letting go of 123 Main Street? If you haven't thought about it, let's talk. So the reason why that message is framed the way that it is, is because there's certain words um, that if they're included in your initial text message, it's going to mark your message spam and it's not going to get delivered. You're going to get an error message and there's a good chance that your account will get shut down. So you have to make sure that you're staying up to date, not including the marked words. Like I guarantee if you can think of house, home, offer, cash, out of the blue, everything that you would typically associate with asking someone if they want to sell their house, if you send that on an initial text message, you're going to get marked spam. It's not going to get delivered. The carriers are really smart about how they do this. Okay, so you want to be kind of ambiguous, not really state it clearly. Like sometimes in my campaigns, I'll even say like, hey, John, question mark, if that's their name, right? So, hey, contact first name, question mark. They'll be like, yes, who is this? I'm like, okay, perfect. Now I can send them, hey, have you ever thought about selling 123 Main Street? Right, I can then ask them. It's going to get delivered because they've responded. So you can see within these campaigns, this first message gets sent out at zero minutes. So this is the immediately. So as soon as I put place a contact, which we're going to be going over in the next video, as soon as a contact gets placed in this campaign, they get this message, right, after zero minutes. One day later, they're going to get this one right? One day after that, they're going to get the next one. Five days after this one, they're going to get the next. So as you can see, you can really build these out as far as you want. But the idea is to slowly drip these messages. If I want to add another event to it, if I'm like, cool, maybe after three days, I want to try to give them a call. I can add an event. I can have that be a call and I can save this timeout 30 seconds. So it'll automatically ring the prospect and if they answer, it'll connect me on REI Reply saying, hey, you got someone connected. I'm going to be patching you in now, right? It's crazy how powerful the system is. If I want to remove that, I'm like, all right, cool. I don't want to call there. Instead, I want to send them an email. Instead, I want a manual call. I just want a notification on my account saying, hey, Matt, you need to call this person today. I can customize this and make it how whatever I want to make it. If on day seven, I want to add a task and say, go door knock them, I can place a task here and the task is door knock, right? Do in two days. I can place this, you know, wherever within this campaign. And at that point, it'll give me a notification saying, hey, Matt, this person hasn't responded at all. You need to go knock on their door, right? So it's super customizable. Um, and it's hands off. You don't have to worry about, you know, how many people I need to text a day. This is just going to go through this sequence. Whenever someone answers, there's triggers within this account. It comes, if you want a copy of our, our REI reply account, you just go to reireply.com forward slash Matt. You'll get a copy of this. You don't have to set all this stuff up. It's already done for you. There's a, there's a task or a trigger, right? Reply trigger, general reply trigger here. You'll see when someone responds, we update them and we add the tag and we remove them from any future campaigns. They don't get any more messages from us if they reply because I don't want them to get day number seven. If they just responded at day two, it's going to seem like a robot, right? Which it is a robot. <laughs> so that is our campaigns. All you have to do at that point is just make sure it's switched on to, to active. If it's not active, it'll be gray and it just needs to say published. It'll be under draft. Um, but the next key piece in your automations here is what days you want to send this. So maybe you're like, you know what? I work a nine to five job, so I don't want to send, I will send it on Saturdays, not Sundays, but between Monday through Saturday, my nine to five keeps me super busy. So instead I want to start sending text messages around four 30 in the afternoon and I'll do it four 30 to eight, because at this point in time, I can actually respond. 
and then I can add users, right? This is the reason why I wanted you guys to create multiple dummy accounts, because if I have four or five users in my account, I can add them all here. And what the system will automatically do, it'll send the first text message through Matt, the next one through the next account, the next one through the next account, and it will keep switching the numbers, which again, decreases the likelihood of one of your phone numbers get marked spam. You have it set for stop on do not response, uh, stop on response, you'll hit save, right? Now this is your marketing campaign for foreclosures. Again, guys, if you want our campaigns that are already set up, just go to rarepply.com forward slash Matt. That's my sushi code. Um, I think when you guys sign up, I get like 20 bucks, which is pretty cool. So um, yeah, that is your foreclosure campaigns. You'll see that the general campaign looks a little different, right? So it's not, we're not mentioning foreclosure in those because we're not messaging foreclosures. But again, the cool thing here, you can make it whatever you want to make it. If you're like, Matt, I have an open house I want to go show this weekend. Or Matt, I'm JVing with somebody and I want to blast out this deal to my buyers list. You can do all that with pre-made campaigns. And then lastly, the cool thing is the workflows. Because this is where the true power of the system is within the workflow. You can see that we have a ton of them in our system. All I have to do if I want to create a brand new one, I can start from scratch let me show you guys what, what this thing can do, right? So I can add a trigger and this trigger can be, hmm, anytime I tag something as a tag is added and that tag is, um, let's, let's say cold. Okay, so anytime I tag something as cold, I'll save that. So that's the new trigger associated with this workflow. I can add an action. Okay, so this, this lead has gone cold on us. All right, so what do I need to do? Let's send them a text message right? I click send SMS. I can type in whatever I want to type in. Hey, looks like you've ghosted me. <laughs> Is everything all right? Right? I can add an attachment, whatever. I can save this as my action. Okay, so they get this SMS immediately when I tag it cold. Next thing I can do, I can scroll down and I can say wait. So I will now wait one day or 60 minutes or whatever. So time delay, I can save that action. It sits there. And then I can add a another action. It's like, oh, okay, what else do I want to do? I can edit the lead. I can add the lead to another pipeline. I can remind myself to call them, to go door knock. I can do any of this within a workflow. So this is like the campaigns, but even more customized. So I will say, guys, getting started, you don't have to do all of this, but I think it's important that you see just how powerful this system can be. And there's no reason why you can't run a business on this platform if you have no deals and you're trying to get your first one. Or if you got your first one and you're trying to get to five, you got five trying to get to 10, 10 to 20, this system can do it all. This, you can grow within one platform and it's super duper duper affordable. But just getting started, it's important to understand how the campaigns work and how the triggers work and just how powerful the workflows can be. And you can build those out over time. So hopefully you got value from this video today. This was all about automations. Our next video, we're going to be talking about contacts, how to upload them properly and place them into these automations. So if you did like this video, please like it, comment below what your favorite part was, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.